and welcome back to Siri Sims. We have been following Valerie Eureka to her workplace at the Open Oceans Oceanography Center. We're currently here and we're at the entrance actually, standing next to the seahorse exhibit. Look at all the little seahorses. Aren't they so cute? There's so many of them. But yes, I thought we would do a quick in camera tour. And over there you can see where Tritop Islands and the Golson's house is. Just so you can get the full effect of what it's like for a sim coming to the Oceanography Center. Now the entrance still needs a little bit of work since they're brand new, but you can see here's one of the most popular exhibits already. A bunch of little crabs and eels, a lot of the saltwater fish right over here. But what I think everyone will be most excited about is this, because right over here through these glass doors is a tunnel you can walk through that's just right inside of the aquarium. I love these tunnels. It was actually on my bucket list to walk through one. I'm very proud to say I achieved that this Thanksgiving at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Aquarium at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. But yeah, you can walk through this tunnel. You can look at all the fish. It even goes up to the second story. I need to make sure I put the ceilings in so that it doesn't show where it's not supposed to. There's a starfish. If we turn over here, here's a hammerhead just right here. How cool would that be to see a hammerhead swimming by? Some buried treasure, one of the little sharks, lots and lots of seaweed growing everywhere. It's just really beautiful. I spent a lot of time building these very carefully so that it felt like you were just surrounded by the ocean. You can see there's some crabs, starfish, coral growing on rocks. Oh, there's one of my favorite exhibits. There's some clownfish. And I don't have any anemones yet. I need to either make some myself uh, or recolor something so and shrink it so it looks like anemones. But in my head, those are one species of clownfish, the big guys. And the little guys are another species who are hiding around that brain coral right now. There's another crab hiding over there. Ooh, hiding, that reminds me. I built a little cave. There we go. You see the cave back there? Let me move back towards it. Here's a little cave where all these cuttlefish are hiding. They're just kind of tucked away back there. It, there's a lot of details. Like, the more you look, the more you can kind of find things hidden everywhere. Yeah, I love it. You can look up, and you're not supposed to see the stars. You're supposed to see all the fish that are just kind of hanging out up there. Swimming overhead. I really think this will be like a great date spot, a great place for photo opportunities. Over here is another one of my favorite exhibits. This is a big giant clam surrounded by a whole bunch of little clams. Over here is a betta fish exhibit through the glass doors. There we go. And this is a betta fish exhibit so that you can see uh, some of the the area where betta fish would be. It's obviously slightly fictional since normally these guys would be packed in so tied on each other. Over here is an octopus exhibit. Pretty cool. They're all just hanging out. Over here is a little exhibit about what a clean ocean looks like and why you should recycle and be good to plants and things. And um, what an ocean that's been affected by the bad effects of pollution looks like with all these bottles and nastiness floating around. And see this poor little hermit crab? That poor little hermit crab has been reduced to using an empty soda can for its shell. And that happens in real life, guys. It does. It's very sad. Meanwhile, down here, and there's the Siovani chick who has like three bolts with Cory. Is it Corey? No, it was Kyle Dolson. Inside here, it might be a little hard to see, but we've got, and I really should recall her that, so it's like ant sea animal skeletons. This is one of the research rooms. And what are they researching? They're keeping an eye on this dude in here, six sea turtle. So, ah, oh, went too far up, too far up. So they're keeping an eye on the six sea turtle in here. And then next door is another one of the research rooms. I love how they're all just like crouched watching them. And I was actually surprised because when we loaded the lot, check who's visiting to see probably how her research is going. It's Erica and Rosalind, Valerie's sister-in-law and mother-in-law. So they're visiting. We've got this little clownfish who's hooked up to a mic. 
Oh, look how cute. This clownfish is a conversion from Sims 3. I've never really seen it so up close. Look at that little nose. Oh, it's adorable. Now I definitely want to get one for Alex to have because Alex is into cute things like that. A few more specimens in jars, some health and safety notes. Uh, just it's the start of some things to study. There's a few animals in the, the tanks for study right now. Over here is a study area. So that's down on the first floor. I really like it. And then up here on the second floor, there's not quite so much to see in camera. The bathrooms. Switch over. Dive, dive, dive. Up the stairs, there's the bathrooms. Just some decorations. Lots of benches and things so you can just sit and look and stare at how cool all of it is. Just take in this giant aquarium and all it has to offer. Over here is one of the touch pools where there's a whole bunch of starfish who are totally used to being poked and prodded very gently. There's some plants, there's some more benches so you can look at the aquariums. This is one of my favorite aquariums too. This is the jellyfish aquarium. Lots of totems, lots of gems in their rocks. Two different species of jellyfish hanging out in there. Over here is another touch, touch pool. This one has more hermit crabs. I love hermit crabs. They're actually very social. They love climbing. They're pretty cool. So they're hanging out up here. And then over here, finally, well almost finally, is just a little eatery so that you can grab a snack while you're looking at all the animals. And just some open area that may be developed in the future. And it's kind of hard to see because it's night, except for this glowing seagull, which totally cracked me up when I saw him. But this is the back, where you can come to do your normal beach things, or you could swim with the dolphins. And yes, those are dolphins that actually swim in the water, see? They are awesome, awesome pieces of CC. I just love them. But yeah, they're, they're out just chilling. There's a seagull that's flying around. Uh, it's just real cool. Where are you going now? Now's not the time for making a sandcastle, honey. <laughs> Little bit wrong time for that. Oh, it looks like her family are discussing like how to approach the fractured arm that the sea turtle has. So I'm actually going to send her off to use the restroom and eat while we just kind of watch people and see what's going on here in the aquarium. Let's order. Oh, I love pineapple surprise. Let's get some pineapple surprise. So while our host Valerie is off and about, oh, here's, there's Hedwig. Hedwig is a cat that belongs to Inya Stork stocking. <laughs> no, Hedwig. Hedwig, get out of there. You may not eat the starfish. Bad Hedwig. Stop eating the starfish. Leave the poor thing alone. Come on, you two, do something. Save the starfish. She's like, I'd rather read this book right now. Erica. Erica's busy. Do you love me? Do you love me not? Is that a happy one? Oh no, it's not a happy one plucking flowers off her head. I wish there was a hair that had the plants and flowers blooming with like different colors. I think that'd be really cute. I'm gonna take a picture of her because Erica is old and I love her. I mean when you've got a sim that you try to let live a real life that you've had with you for like five years. She's been a wonderful medium for a lot of my storytelling. Oh that one made her happy. Alright what else is everyone else up to? Checking out all the little animals, swimming around. I've seen on someone's Tumblr where like this fish will swim by. Yeah, I think it's that one. This fish swims by the eel and then the eel eats it and it vanishes. Is it gonna happen? <gasps> Just like that! See? Did you see that? The eel ate him! Eel, dude! I love the sea urchin. Someone needs to extract that sea urchin. Look how cool it is. It's so spiky! Is he gonna do it again? 
Dang! You're just ravenously hungry, aren't you, Mr. Eel? I wonder if probably keep adding enough clownfish in there. Poor clownfish. Alright, noted. Chip Rye likes the aquarium. Likes fish, I think. Oh, and that, like, howling that you hear back there is the seagull. Seagulls are noisy. I figure it's pretty fitting. Oh, hey, Harvey, Rosalind. So she was just hanging out with them. Oh, you don't need to go look at the rain. Also, you're still hungry. Have some teriyaki, my mind, since your sister in law. Hey, check it out. Kimberly's here, too. Come on. That seagull was noisy. <laughs> Everyone's just talking fashion with her lately. But yeah, this is like just one of my favorite lots. I poured a lot of work into it. It took me like a couple weeks to build off and on. But I really fell for it. You know, there's that chick. I'm going to say hi to her after we're done eating. Because that chick has been... Uh, I mean, three bolts. And look how pretty she is. She's just very pretty sim, and I'm thinking that she would match right up with Kyle, but I don't know. We'll have to see if Kyle wants to settle down. Dude, where'd your sister go? She just vanished into thin air. The woman moves fast. I was gonna have her talk with Rosalind. Well, we'll find one of her. There's Erica. Let's have her go downstairs and talk with Erica. Erica, you better be telling Hedwig to stop eating the starfish. You need to stop eating the starfish, Hedwig. I might have to put a no cats allowed in the aquarium center rule. Go greet your mother-in-law. Say hi, Bond. What was that about? Oh, come on! Can't you at least give her a friendly hug? That's better. You guys are family. Act like it. I'm gonna take a picture. Yes, I take so many pictures! That's because I put them on my Tumblr. Look how cool that picture is. Surrounded by fish. I think there's a mod that lets you, like... And then I think we're going to... Why not? The Eurekas own this place. If they want a pillow fight in the middle of the aquarium, then darn it, they can piddle, pillow, <laughs> pillow fight pillow fight in the middle of the aquarium. This is science! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, stop complaining. What do you guys have to gossip about? A dog, apparently. That's not very exciting, silly. Uh, appreciate her, and then give your old mother-in-law a good back rub. Hedwig? Hedwig, I know you live across the street with your, your human mother slave thing, but you're not allowed to eat the fish. Do you understand me, Cat? You are not allowed to eat the fish. Hm. There's Rosalind. She's just going around reading. I guess she's checking up on the research. Or maybe balancing the budget. She's big on that. There we go. We'll have her watch the fish. Actually, I know something that will work even better. Him. Check up on your your clownfish. She's here on her day off, so I'm like, check up on your specimens, because it really cracks me up that viewing art gives you such a huge boost. And if you cancel the action halfway through, suddenly your fun bar is like a third of the way full. It's ridiculous. Watch, jump, and it just jumps just like that. And you're like, what? And we'll have to review that just to act like she's checking to see, uh, what- whoa! Positive interactions! I wasn't paying attention. 
Kimberly and Ralph are apparently friends. I love watching the town this because that's totally out of my control. Why are you smelling our crab? You people are so weird. Get out of our research center. Alright, honey. Now our little hostess is like passing out on us, so we're gonna- Ah, no! What are you doing here? Naria! The evil witch! I think she's got plans and schemes for a fish. Hmm. Oh, and she's headed out after talking with her cat. I think she just enlisted her cat and doing something devious with all the fish hair. Hmm. We'll have to keep that in mind. I'm always looking for ways to have Naria's curse affect everyone. But I don't know why she would attack Ladesia. She's been focusing pretty much on Oak Grove because I figure she wants to take that land over for some nefarious reason. I'll have to figure out that nefarious reason. And whoops! I just left some fish hanging out outside. Doing nothing. <laughs> I'll have to come back into this lot and fix that. Because we don't need fish outside. Like I said, this is a playtest. Run away, honey, run away. Don't stomp on the roaches. You might get the flu. I know I'll get a bad memory. Tell me you didn't get a bad memory. Phew. Not yet. I know, I know. You can take a nap when we get home. Man, that seagull. I love it, but at the same time, it's like, dude, calm down. There's Harvey, there's Kimberly. And she's headed home. Just as her sister-in-law shows up. Hey Evelyn! But yeah, this is one of my new favorite lots. I plan on sending some here uh, to do fun things quite often. I might add a few more things they can play with. Uh, like interactive things for the kids. Maybe like a swing outside. Though those swings tend to get hit by lightning and it rains all the time in the spring here. <laughs> so that's a tour of the Oceanography Center and I guess we'll just wrap this up by checking out the Eureka's household again. There's a lot of Eurekas. I'm actually working on a biography list that I will, like a resident directory that has links to the different sims and their biographies on my Tumblr. I will put a link to those things down in the the description below and that way if you guys are kind of lost on like who is this, uh, what are they about, what's their story, what's happened, you can click on their biography and it'll give you a quick synopsis of who they are and their biography will also have a link to anything in my Tumblr that has been posted about them. You'll be able to search their tag and find that. <laughs> Alright. I'm a thinker, that's a good background song for the Eurekas. They're all geniuses. And she's back home! I'm ready to pass out! It's still not even noon yet. I have found something. If you direct a sim to go drink espresso when they're this tired, they won't finish the action and so their like energy won't go up. Alright, off to bed, honey. I didn't show you guys up the stairs. There's not really much to see. The office with the, the ship in the bottle. I thought that was nautical themed coolness. Their bedroom. It's pretty long. Natalie or er, Valerie tries not to dwell on how there's a perfect space for a crib right over here. But no, 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 not at all. We're done with the babies. Whoa! Maids headed out. This is their cute little bathroom. Oh, and they have a pool in the backyard. Pretty cool pool. Whoa! Hey, Leon. Leon's home, doing good in school. Nope, don't- ah, I need to download the mod that prevents him from running off to show off his A. Leon is definitely not the personality who would do that with his parents, he's pretty private, doesn't like them knowing his stuff. Alright. What should we do with you, Leon? Yeah, Leon has gotten to know Davinia Beltone, who is a sim who lives here in Ladesia now. 
quite well. Uh, they're actually like in love. They've got crushes. They wouldn't go study though, because neither of them are the kind to commit to anything. They're just best friends. What would we do with you? He actually works as a crime scene investigator. And you might think, oh, he likes to defeat crime. No, actually what he likes to do is learn crime, like how to avoid crime. You aren't gonna mess with Ivysaur, are you? I don't think he's the type to hurt animals. Okay. It's his secret soft side. He actually is family oriented. Well, no one's home and his mother is sleeping. He sneaks into his little brother's room to cuddle the guinea pig. I love that I named this thing Ivysaur. I love plant Pokemon. Sometimes people tease me for still enjoying Pokemon even though I'm well into my mid-twenties. <laughs> and it's the imagination of it all. I love it. I'm a biologist. What do you expect? Mythical creatures? That's totally up my, my alley. No, you can go hiking, dude. I guess he's just gonna play with Ivysaur. But yeah, the family's doing pretty good. Leon is probably gonna be featured in an upcoming episode because I do have some devious plans for him. Uh, his top want is to open five, like, his lifetime want is to run five top level businesses. I think he's gonna start young and I think that they are definitely not going to be, um, Entirely legal enterprises. There he is, off to go do his crime scene job. He's learning how not to get caught by the police by working as a crime scene investigator. He just thinks he's better than everybody else. It's the result of being from such a famous family. Formerly rich. They used to be drenched in so much money I didn't know what to do with it. But, you know, then they ended up uh, buying an entire town and funding, like, the the building of everything. The waterworks, the electricity, the monorail. So that in my head that's where the Eureka money went. Sylvia? Who's Sylvia? The phone's ringing. Who is Sylvia? Her thing's all messed up, so I don't know who that is. I don't think that's a kid. Alright, they both brought homework home today. I have a mod that makes it so that sometimes they don't bring homework home. So much homework. Oh, there's his, his not girlfriend, but good best friend with benefits. Nope, he's not home. You always call this time of day, chick, and he's always at work. You think you would learn. Alright, and we're gonna have the boys just have some fun. This little guy over here is Ambar Natali. He just moved in with his mother. Tell them the secret. Ah, why does that never work? Just chat with them though. He lives over on the other side of Ladestia, and he's become pretty good friends with Alex, and he's starting to be good friends with Galen. Galen, are you reading on your own? Yes, you are. You know, I've been trying to investigate and find out what Galen's one true hobby is. I think we've tried almost everything. Hmm. Pretty sure he's tried sports. But we'll test that out. First, let's get him changed out of his private school uniform. Yeah, I guess it was good. Just checking if it needed food. Ta da! Then run over here. <laughs> Kids are always talking about rats. And then why don't you play catch? And let's see what happens. Why Alex goes inside to use the bathroom and change and whatnot. I just can't leave the kids in their, their uniforms all day. It just feels too weird to me. Is this your one true hobby? I'm trying to make Galen more interesting to me by, like, you know, playing with him and doing different things. Just throwing the ball. Nothing's happening. I don't know, has Gail never tried to cook? I'll have to try that next. Are you almost friends with this little guy? Oh, they're almost friends. Why don't you tell a story about fame, because your family's famous. The tell a story thing has always kind of confused me. 
when it came with free time. It's like, why? Oops, sorry, Alex. Didn't mean to. Whoop, and we'll wake her up. There, your kids are home. You're gonna have to cook dinner soon. You know how it is feeding ravenous boys. Bah! That's why it was slowing down, because you totally <laughs> broke the toilet. Noted. Let's see. Having some bitching issues, so one sec. 